Hey there, it's Elliot here. I've been getting a bunch of messages from folks struggling with that annoying iPhone lock to owner message, also known as the iCloud activation lock. Boy, do I know how frustrating that can be. Many of you have considered some pricey software or service to tackle this issue. Well, speaking from personal experience, let's pause on that one. Sure, these services might work, but they can also dent your wallet, and honestly, there's no 100% guarantee they'll do the trick. But don't worry, I've got your back. This video will explore several alternative ways to remove this lock from your iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch. And guess what? These methods are legal, safe, and accessible. And they're quicker and more reliable than many paid services floating around on the internet. Stay tuned, and let's remove that annoying lock from your device. Before we get started, this guide is only for those who own their device and have lost their login details. We're not supporting actions like unlocking stolen devices. That's against the law and disrespectful to others. This video follows YouTube's rules and community standards. All right, now that we've cleared that up, let's move on. If you've been searching for a solution to this iPhone lock issue, you've come across many different services claiming to do the trick. I know how confusing it can get, so let me share my journey with you. I started like you, lost in the sea of services promising to unlock my iPhone. Everything was from safe unlocks to iUnlock app, locked to owner, and even unlock here's AI-powered unlocking web app. You might wonder, Elliot, how do I know which one to trust? Fair question. Learning was a trial and error process for me, but let me ease that path for you. While all of these are good options, what stood out about Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app and the others I mentioned is that they're designed with the user in mind. That means they're straightforward, reliable, and most importantly, safe. But look, you have to choose what works best for you. I can tell you from experience, though, that these solutions did help me out. Next, I'll show you how to navigate through one of these, specifically Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. So stay tuned if you're interested in seeing how that works. Quick sidebar here, guys. Knowing these unlock services work primarily in first world countries is essential. No worries if you can't access them or aren't ready to take that route. We've got something for you. Here's the deal. Every week we give away 250 unlocks to our viewers. If you want in, it's super easy. All you need to do is go ahead and hit the like button for this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and then drop a comment below. In your comment, mention the model of your device, like Samsung S9, your IMEI, and the country you're in. Once you do that, you're automatically entered into the giveaway, as simple as that. So get commenting for your chance to snag a free unlock. All right, let's break it down step by step. First, grab your phone or hop onto your computer and head to unlockhere.com. This is a super handy web app with an AI assistant named Nifty who will help us unlock your mobile phone restrictions. Now you'll want to click Activation Lock to let Nifty know you're aiming for an iCloud unlock. Next, you'll need to select the device type. I will be using an iPhone, but you can choose an iPad or Apple Watch if that's what you're working with. Now comes the part where you must enter your device's IMEI or serial number. Here's the scoop. Go for the IMEI if you're unlocking an iPhone iPads and Apple Watches might have an IMEI if they've got a SIM card slot or cellular capabilities. If not, they'll have a serial number. It's pretty easy to find. Just hit the sleep button on your device, press it again, and tap on the I down in the bottom right corner to see all of your device info. Make sure to input that info in this step to proceed. Next, you must input basic info to connect the order to your account. Make sure this info is accurate so you can receive your order confirmation. Next. Tick the box to agree to the terms. Remember, we're not here to unlock stolen devices. Solve the quick CAPTCHA. You gotta prove we're not robots, right? And then hit start process. Keep an eye on your inbox because you will receive an email with a confirmation code. If you don't see it, check your spam or junk folder as it might end up there. Once you have that code, go back to the unlock here website, pop in your code, confirm you're not a robot again, and in second, your unlock process has started and your device will be opened. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone lock to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it'll be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again once it's finally unlocked. So it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And there it is. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to set it all up later. 
Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the rest of the steps and just do it all later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap, forget password, or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here you can just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. And yeah, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. And that's it for this method, but stick around because we've got another way to unlock your device coming right up. All right, guys, let's dive into alternative ways to tackle this iPhone lock issue. These are entirely legal methods for removing the iCloud activation lock, meaning they're perfect for you if you're a rightful owner who's just forgotten your access info. Firstly, Apple themselves can help with this. If you can prove the device is yours, they might remove the lock for you. It's not a guaranteed success, but an option worth exploring. Next, you could contact the person you bought the device from. They could remove the lock from their iCloud account if they're the original owner. However, this method relies on the other party being cooperative. Now those are your basic steps. But if you're looking for a more hands-on approach, some services can help you. These are particularly handy if you've exhausted the above options, or if they do not apply to your case. For example, sites like unlockhere.com have an AI-powered web app designed to help users like you unlock their devices. It's a straightforward process, and your device will be opened quickly. Remember, the goal here is to provide various options to handle the iCloud activation lock. These steps ensure you know the different paths you can take. Next, I'll share more in-depth insights about one of these services and how to use it, so stay tuned in our following videos if you want to learn more.